Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys two looks that are inspired by spiders. And the first step, as always, is to moisturize your skin. You always want your skin to be nice and hydrated when you apply your foundation. But beforehand, make sure to apply a primer so your makeup lasts the entire day. And the next step is to conceal. I concealed all my blemishes and also highlighted at the same time. And then I use my foundation to to blend out my concealer and just to even out my face and skin tone. And then I use this NYC translucent powder to set my entire face. And then I use this Wet n Wild bronzer to add a little bit of color to my face on the temples and a little bit on the all over my cheeks just to kind of contour and just to add a little bit of color everywhere so i don't look that pale and then i deepened up my contour with this it cosmetics bronzer that happens to be a little darker just on the hollows of my cheeks and then i added this awesome highlighter from physicians formula on the high points of my face on my nose cupid's bow cheeks and also a little bit along underneath my eyebrows and then right on top of my eyelid i use the lorac eye primer so my eyeshadow stays on longer and it does increase throughout the day and then i use my lorac unzipped palette and use this vanilla color right on top of my eyelid and i added the brown color just to add a little bit of warmth to the eye Make sure to always blend 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 in circular motion so you have a nice smoky eye and then i winged out my eyeliner with my l'oreal linear intense and i kind of did it a little thicker than usual and then i used my rain cosmetics palette and i actually wanted a cut crease and make sure when you do this you add little by little first i started with brown and then a little bit of black and then i just started blending it out so the key is taking your time and just blending out everything and then after of course i applied some on the bottom on my lower lash line and then i added the same vanilla color on the inner portion of my lower lash line and then i added this white wet and wild color that I bought at CVS for like about a dollar. And then I added this loose glittery eyeshadow right on top so it added a little bit of glitter to the center of the eyelid. And of course, never forget plenty of mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara that I pretty much always use. And then I added these awesome spiderweb lashes that I bought at Kmart. And of course, I also did my eyebrows with this Makeup Forever Aqua tint that supposedly they're supposed to be like waterproof or something like that. And then I used the Physicians Formula highlight underneath my eyebrow so it looked cleaner and it also lifts the eyebrow as well. And continuing on to the lips, I used this Revlon Color Burst in the color Shameless and then after I cleaned up my lips with this Milani lip liner in the color Sugar Plum. So this was the first look. The primary and center of attention are the eyelashes and the lips and both of them go hand in hand. Totally loved it. This is appropriate for something or a place like if you happen to go to work and you can't really go dressed as a zombie or something like a vampire or something. You can't go all crazy. So this is something very wearable and subtle. So continuing on to the second look, this one is more intense and it evolves around the spider, spider webs along the temples of the eyes. So I pretty much used powder, eyeshadow, I used um, liquid eyeliner, I used a regular eyeliner. So it's all about using what you have and using your own creativity. So I pretty much did a spider web and a cute little spider hanging on it. So that's how it pretty much 
looks and I actually like the liquid eyeliner better and it looks stronger and more visible. So this was the second look, loved it, and it's a little more intense, so I actually really like that, and I added a little more along my cheek as well. So if you happen to like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and tell me which one you like more, the first one or the second one. Make sure to follow me on all my social media and blog as well. And as always, I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!